Hi guys, welcome to another episode. As you can see, we are at our test bed again. There's been quite a bit of discussion about knots. So today we're gonna to trial two knots. One is the bowline that we saw slip previously. One of the comments on our channel suggested we throw a second granny knot behind it. So we're gonna pull a bowline against a bowline, both with an additional granny knot. We're also going to do the figure of eight the one that you follow back through again, we showed on the previous clips. And uh, this time we're gonna pull it against itself. The previous ones broke on the other end, which wasn't the knot, so we didn't actually get the actual break strain of what a figure of eight. The figure of eight appears to be a lot stronger than our conventional knot we use. It's just slightly larger. Let's see how they do. First one will be the bowline. I've left these tag ends reasonably long so that they can be seen if it slips. Previously, it didn't seem to slip from the tag end. It slipped within the knot and just tightened up on itself. Everything zeroed. I think they got to about 70 without the additional granny knot. Slowly take it up. I haven't tested this yet, so I have no idea how long it, how high it would go. We were already at the 70, taking up a bit of the tension. So far, no real slippage at all. Ah, starting to slip. Went slightly higher. I think it was around 80. And there we go, just failing. So, bow line, even with an extra loop, in my opinion, not worth using. You could lose yourself a uh, trophy fish. Sorry for the background noise on that previous clip. We have a functioning factory and a lot of staff going around and a lot of background noises. So now we've set up the second one, which is the follow through figure of eights, one against the other, in other words, against itself. So this should give us a true representation of what a follow through figure of eight actually breaks at. Should easily go 130 plus. Locked up very well, no slippage at all. Wow, 170 plus. Now that's virtually at break strain on the line. Figure of eight is actually a very good knot. Pity it's slightly larger than a conventional knot. Is it really gonna make that much of a difference? Um, maybe five or six percent greater than a conventional knot. Um, I don't think it's that important to switch over to it. The standard knot is lower profile, might help with the speed of the spear better. This could slow it down. And there you have testing for today. Any comments, please feel free to make comments and uh, we'll see if we can help out with future testing.